Hello everybody, welcome to My Hero Academia Season 4, Episode 17, I think we're on. Anime review, literally, an episode of two halves this week, because there was two halves of the episode, and that's analysis right there. No, but they were like completely, completely different things. I liked the first half of the episode, and the second half was, you know, it was fine. You know, I, I liked the first half uh, more than the second half, because the first half, bloody seeing how people growing, that's good. I like that, I like that a lot. Second half... Aoyama was a creep, wasn't he? That's that's what it was. Doesn't doesn't he's a bit of a socially awkward one, that one. But uh, hey, it all worked out. It all worked out, and you know, good stuff anyway. Let's dive into the episode. See what's gone down. I got a bit of a, a bad throat, if you couldn't tell, but ah, we'll still go. Let's get on with the episode. See what happened. And everything. Let's do this. So the children attack them, and it's pretty. They've all got really cool quirks, and I'm just like, I I do like that. How like one-off characters have some thought put into what their abilities are. It's not just like electric man or wind guy. It's like, no, this guy's tongue is a cannon. And it's like, oh, okay, that's pretty rad, that. Uh, yeah, I like I like the there's some thought putting into the quirks because I'm going to assume, I'm going to make a bold assumption right now that these kids are not going to show up at any point in the future for anything significant. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Also, we learn about uh, like this quirk doomsday theory, which I thought was really interesting. It's like, yeah, quirks get more powerful and more specific as, you know, generations go on. So eventually they're just going to get too, too out of control to, you know, and they're going to just kill everyone. It's like, oh, that's, that's not good. Doctors should probably, probably sort that out. Um, obviously the students aren't phased by this barrage of assaults because, you know, they've had, they're trained for this. They're not going to let some puny, insignificant little brats take them down, that's exactly what what it is. Uh, Kami, we learn her quirk, it's illusion, and it's called glamour, but it's it's in like an illusion. She makes Todoroki flirt, by, like an illusion Todoroki. And then after that, Bakugo like, inti uh, not intimidates, imitates it, but I think it's the real Bakugo doing it, which is weird, because it's, it's Bakugo. That's not a real, it's not a Bakugo type thing. It was pretty funny. It was really off-putting in a funny way. Good job, back we go. The the kid thinks he's better than everyone. The uh, the leader kid, the snobby, the the one from last week basically. Then the team of hero wannabes works together to uh, create a ice slide arctic aurora aurora borealis. I can't say that word, but you know what? Aurora borealis. There we go. Uh, for them all thing, and basically their plan is that Bakugo came up with this plan. He's like. Hey, we'll show them cool things they can do, and then they'll be cool. And then like, they were cool. So I guess Bakugo's plan worked, but Bakugo's plan is generally reliable on death and more death. So, you know, it's good to think. Uh, he gives some advice to the leader kid. He's like, if you look down on everyone, you won't see your own weaknesses. And it's like, oh, it's relevant because it's Bakugo. See? Because he used to be like that, but now he's a bit more tolerant. And I was going to say respectful. I don't think that's the right word. Tolerant, maybe. Uh... He's grown, character growth, development, good stuff, like it, like it from our boy back ago. Anyway, yeah, they, they solved the problem, good stuff. Gang Orca afterwards, we learn a little tidbit about him is, he's not actually a hard ass, he just has to act like a hard ass, because otherwise he won't get no respect, basically. And, you know, that's fair. Gang Orca, good guy. Schools are coordinating in case of League of Villains attacks, which is like, hey, they've gone after you. That's pretty bad. We'll, we'll work together from now on. Good stuff. Uh, Endeavor tries to talk to Todoroki, or Shoto, I guess. He is also a Todoroki. If I say Todoroki, I'm talking about Shoto. There. The, the, I, I, I'll clarify it now, just in case people uh, you know, get on my case later. Uh, Todoroki like, brushes him off. He's like, don't want to hear it, man. And it's like, oh, good stuff, Todoroki. You good, you good. Uh, and then Endeavor's like, Endeavor actually has like, a nice thing, he's like, I'm going to become a hero you could be proud of. And like, to look at Todoroki's face, like, he knows that that was a, the right thing to say. But he doesn't want to like, not. He's like, oh, damn it, he said a good thing. And then even Inessa is like, I will support you, Endeavor. And even though he hates each other, like, Endeavor has a good line too. He's like, thank you, you are bleeding quite a bit. And it's like, yep, because he like, socks himself in the face. Sort of like biting your tongue, except he, he punched himself in the face. Which... I guess works. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna question that. It make makes sense to me. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna. Let's just let's, let's just move on. 
second half of the episode begins with a slideshow or a montage if you will so they're back at school which is you know good stuff we see night eyes funeral uh, every we see everyone there we're still falling having the fallout from the overhaul arc uh, we see Eri briefly her horn is shrunk down to really small now which I guess it means her quirk won't go. Maybe it'll gr it grows when she goes out of control. Maybe, and then because she's like used it a lot, it's like all right. We've, we, it's like it's like a um, it's like a fart, right? I don't know why this is the analogy I've gone with, but it's one I'm going with. Like it builds up, and it builds up, and the more it builds up, eventually it's gonna poof, and it's gonna be massive. So instead of building it up massively, she needs to release it in small bursts. Maybe I I I don't know. I'm j I'm not a doctor. Do I look like the a quirk expert because I'm, I'm I'm not uh, after that the school stuff there's a hard math question the Deku gets wrong because he's stupid no he's, I, I, I I wasn't even trying to work it out because math I haven't done math properly in years and I, I don't I don't think I'd remember to be honest uh, after that Aoyama feeds Deku some cheese which you know he's Deku's doing the the, the voiceover I guess and he's like that's pretty weird uh, weird stuff keeps happening. Then, get, we get even more creepy. Aoyama is outside Deku's window late at night and he just leaves Cheese with a message saying, I know, uh, which is a bit scary. Deku is fully aware of this. I guess he was awake because he like opened his eyes like, that was Aoyama outside my window. What's he doing? That's pretty creepy. And that's, that's true. He writes, I know. So I was thinking, oh crap. He knows about one for all. That's pretty bad. Deku needs to do something about this. Uh, we'll find out that's not quite it. They talk about hero team ups the next day because uh, Mount Lady and some others teamed up and they're like, what would we do if we were te a team? And you know, Mineta and Kaminari get sort of shunted to the side. Poor Mineta and Kaminari. Um, more training. Bakugo uh, encourages Deku, which is nice to see. It seems a lot more, a lot less for malicious than. He used to be. He used to be like proper like die Deku, and now he's like, I thought you were gonna get stronger. Pwah. I'm gonna overtake. Oh, I'm already overtaking you. I'm I'm gonna get him further away from you. You know, like he's encouraging him, but in his his own back and go away, which is you know he's a dick, but he's he means well. He's a, he's a dick that means well. That's back and go in a nutshell. Uh, Deku's like right. I need to use up, figure out how I got to be able to use 100% by myself. And I'm like Deku, you can barely manage 20, son. Like. I, I appreciate the hustle, but like, behave some. After that, Aoyama like, or he pulls Aoyama to the side because he like purposely gets himself sick. I think it was purposefully, to, so they get a chance to talk. He tells him basically, hey, my quirk isn't compatible with my body either because I get hurt and I have to wear this belt, otherwise it, you know, it leaks out and that's not good. So basically, in a nutshell, the cheese and everything, because Deku was trying to work so hard, he's trying to encourage Deku, be a good friend, you know? Sneak, sneaking out onto your balcony, you know, maybe Deku needs to have a, a talk with him about that. Alright, that's not, just, just leave it outside my door next time, you don't need to go to the balcony. Uh, but, other than that, good stuff. And then, like, afterwards, he farts. I think it was a fart. He, like, rips a mean fart, oh, Aoyama. And now, and then in the end, we find out that, that Aoyama and Deku are friends now, so... Thumbs up. Yeah, pretty weird, as I said. Uh... It, I guess fine. Is Aoyama gonna do do? Is this like his his one-off arc, or is he gonna like actually become like semi-important at some point? That's a, that's a real question. That was the end of the episode, as I said. Next episode uh, is called like School Festival, so I'm assuming he's gonna do some school festival things. I don't know what that would. I I do know what that'd be. I've seen anime before. They're gonna do a um. I don't know what do they normally do at school festival? A musical performance. There's usually one of them. Uh, there's probably other things too, and uh, candy apples. No, that's a shrine festival. I've, my brain's just done a fart here, you know. Maid cafe, school class maid cafe. That's a thing that happens at school festivals. I've seen anime. Anyway, there is one more slight thing. I actually paid attention to the credits this week. During the Todoroki part, right? Who's the other kid? Because there's the girl, who I'm assuming is Todoroki's sister, who we have seen. Who's the other kid? There's like another boy. There's like Todoroki, Shoto, his sister, and there's one other dude. Who's that? Have we met him? It, I, I guess it could just be like, wait, it's just a guy that it's just another one of... No, because he had white hair. Yeah, he had white hair. I was going to say it could just be another of Endeavor's kids, but the white hair is from the... 
his mum's side. So who? So he's got a brother? Has he ever mentioned? Have I stumbled onto a secret here, or am I just in? E or am I really overthinking this? Is that just? I don't know. You know, I I I I, I might have to rewatch it just to pay more attention. You know, that's where that's where we are. But uh, also, it does seem like next week with school festival going on, there is going to be some villain stuff in the background going on as well. They said some an evil lurks in the shadows or other really you know buzzwords like that. So. As that too. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider subscribing and stuff for more reviews on the channel. I will see you next week for another episode of this one. And bye guys. Mm -hmm.